Hey everybody, it's Jason Blaha here, and today I want to chat with you guys a little bit about one of the problems we have with novice lifters uh, taking advice from advanced lifters or using advanced training techniques, and it comes down to not the fact that it wouldn't actually work for them, it comes down to the fact that when they're not coached on literally every single rep and every exercise and everything that they do, is that they will simply make much, much slower progress. People say, well, what do you mean? And I'm not talking about them using intermediate methods, because usually the main difference between a novice and an intermediate uh, is that intermediates progress slower, right? We progress them slower, you start adding accessory movements, we start periodizing things, whereas in a lot of times a novice lifter uh, can make nearly maximum gains off of just moderately heavy work and linear progression. Uh, in other words, we don't care about their different performance elements, we just want to get them as big as possible. And that, it, it doesn't matter what your goals are. That's why we can run novice programs for everyone. And it doesn't matter if you're going to go into physique stuff, powerlifting, football, whatever else. You can run fairly similar programs to build your base because hypertrophy and just building a base through your whole body is the basis of a novice program. In other words, you can't get strong unless you get big first. And therefore, your goal is just to maximize overall size for a novice, right? Top to bottom. Just want to get them big. Big as, big as you can, as early as you can, as quickly as you can. But it doesn't mean they couldn't come in and run something like a conjugate type system or a four-day-a-week uh, concurrent periodization program. They could do that just fine. They could do that just fine. They could run an advanced program just fine if someone was setting all their equipment up if someone's coaching them on everything. Because most of those advanced programs run off of things like RPE, coached reps, coached lifts, percentages of your maxes. So in other words, you take like what I do with this conjugate type system. Since we test your maxes every single week, we know roughly what a training max is for you on, on your big lifts. We can estimate to keep doing your wave loading for speed work. And since you're gonna change the speed work every three weeks anyways, on two of those days, it's not that hard to adjust it based upon your last maxes because your maxes are going to go up every week as a novice. Like everything's going to go up all the time. You could run them on that system. You could run them on that system. Absolutely. And they would excel once they have the basics down. And the same thing, you could look at a novice and if a coach or a group of lifters is watching a novice and they can see that instead of people saying, well, their whole body's weak, well, yeah, their whole body's weak, but certain things are lagging more than others. It's that you can't let novices pick their own weak points. Because if a novice picks their own weak points, it's their biceps, right? They're going to do 37 sets of curls for their accessory work. A novice doesn't know that they need more ab work or more hamstring work or that their triceps or whatever it happens to be need a little more work to progress them faster but the people watching them do people watching them do i mean they do have weaknesses it's just that you can just throw big exercises at a novice and everything grows including their weaknesses it makes very little difference but they could they could operate in that environment because they're, if there's either a coach watching everything they do or a team of lifters and you just rotate them through this sort of training, you could absolutely put them through it and they would excel just fine. They would make all their noob gains, they would get strong, they would get jacked, everything else. It wouldn't actually be a problem. The only question becomes, would they actually progress any faster than they would on a, on a plain Jane bare bones novice program? They might not. The only upside is that their, their max strength might be a bit better. The upside might be that they will be used to training in such a manner already in an advanced manner. They'll be into the, the rotation and habit of it. But the issue we have is that any form of advanced training like this, when novices try to implement it on their own, who do not have several years of serious training experience and they don't have a coach watching it, it goes wrong quickly. I mean, it's been my experience that novices can't even set up a box squat correctly. You can talk to them till they're blue in the face and tell them, this is how you set up a box squat. This is how you set up a box squat. This is how you determine depth. They don't even understand what parallel is, no matter how many times you explain it. And even if you show them diagrams and pictures and say this is parallel and you tell a novice to take a picture of themselves sitting on a box that's one inch below parallel, 
they will take a picture and the picture they send you is four inches above parallel. Even when you've shown them examples and they know exactly what it means. Because there's no ambiguity. It has to do with the, the two joints in your body. It has nothing to do with what you, where your legs are or what your legs look like from the sides. It's purely about your knee and your hip. You can't get them to grasp that. You have them try to assess their own weaknesses. You have them try to set up bands or chains or mess with compensatory acceleration when someone's not coaching them. It, it's a problem. I mean, novices have enough problems figuring out how to do a barbell squat on their own without, without a coach. Novices have enough problems figuring out how to perform a bench press. Right? It's hard for a novice lifter to, to learn how to set their feet in tight on a bench press and to remember to actually touch their chest. Therein lies our problem. It's the sheer lack of experience that they have around real training that makes it impossible to implement sometimes even the most basic training protocols, let alone do anything advanced. And, and again, it's come back over to the point. It's not that you couldn't put them on an advanced routine. It's that they will not be able to implement it outside of a coaching environment. Your margin for error is so much higher. So that's a big difference, you know, because people will say things like, well, if you're working with someone one on one, would you put them on, on your novice program? No, if I was coaching someone who, who came to me and I was going to coach them in person, not even my internet coaching, because my internet coaching, I'm limited to what equipment they have available. No, I'd put them on my equipment. I'd even possibly have them train with me. We do our speed work and max effort work back to back. It would be fine because they would be in a coached environment and that works well in a team environment. That's why uh, you see a lot of a lot of lifters and athletes and it doesn't matter whether it's in a football team, a powerlifting team, whatever else. They, they'll run the same basic strength and conditioning routine. They run it together and you just swap weights and heights and stuff around for each person because everyone knows their stuff. They know their rotation. Uh, they know their own percentages. They know what their maxes are. And you could do that. You could do that in a team environment. And it works just fine. You could run everyone on, a, on an advanced program in a team environment. Because everyone's watching each other. Basically, if you got six guys coaching one person, it actually works just fine. As long as, as most of them are semi-competent, or at least one of them really knows what he's doing, they all just learn as a team and go together. That actually works just fine. Novice lifters can learn that way. But the problem we come to is that novice lifters can't use these methods on their own. And I don't mean just the ones I'm prescribing, I'm talking about any real advanced method. Because they're not going to understand the flow of a program. They're not going to understand the flow of training. They also tend to have this weird idea in their head, and this is especially true of, of, of first year lifters, that they're a special snowflake and that they adapt differently than other people. So even if you were to prescribe something like this for them and they had access to all the equipment, they're not going to follow it because they think that they're different. They think that they're special and that they're something magical because their mommy told them they were special growing up and that they think that they respond differently to training than other people because every person's different, right? That's what the bodybuilder told me. Everyone's different. And that's one of the reasons that it's really important for novices for you to give them a structured, simple program of classic lifts and make a thousand novices run the exact same program. And then they see that everyone gets results on it because it's a valuable lesson for them to understand that they're not as special and unique as they think they are. Because when they get good results on a cookie cutter type program that the only thing that's custom tailored is the weight changes based upon their strength and adaptation, where their weight resets in, and it works for everybody. They could put their mom on the same program, and she would get results. When you do that to them, then they understand that the only thing that's unique about people is sometimes their individual recoveries and insertion points and levers. Training response is relatively universal in people. 
we're all we're all the same species. We actually respond the same. So by teaching them that, you teach them that they're not a special snowflake, so that they understand that all basic training principles apply the same to everyone. It's only your implementation of it that's different. Maybe you're implementing it wrong. And when they learn that, then they can become uh, better at training themselves later. Then they can become better at understanding the various concepts and then fine-tuning the approach for their needs. But until you teach a novice that, uh, they're going to tend to think that they're a special, unique snowflake, uh, and in which case they're going to train terribly as a result of it. Because they're going to do what they want to do instead of what they need to do. And if what they wanted to do was correct, they would already have reached their goals. Because they would know how to actually get there, but they don't. All right, guys, but that's really all I have to say on that today. I hope it's been informative, and I will talk to you guys next time.